Actually, let's yeah, bring Peter King right now on Capitol Hill. Peter, we, we are hearing, uh, actually, Phil Griffin e emailed us a story. Joan Walsh just confirmed it. Yeah. The British think we're being a little too tough on poor Tony and British Petroleum. Uh, do you think that uh, the federal government's actually being tough enough? No, I don't think so. Listen, I don't want to be taking cheap shots at Barack Obama. I thought, quite frankly, of a lot of cheap shots taken at President Bush during Katrina. I have a great regard for Admiral Allen for the work he did with the Coast Guard. But I do think that the president has shown a lack of leadership here, and it's indefinable. But I think they were being too cute in the beginning. The first few weeks, the White House was afraid that if President Obama got too involved, it would become his right. tragedy. Mm -hmm. The fact is, it is his catastrophe, and he has to show more leadership, well, get involved. And uh, But again, I'm not going to say that it would be better if he were doing more, but it does owe it to the American people, I think, to be more engaged. You should have been up front, Peter, and he's been you, paying for that you now. Do understand that, you do, though, understand, Peter, that behind the scenes, President Obama, from day one, was actually very engaged, told his White House staff this is job one, and ordered all of the agencies to throw the full force of the federal government behind this. I mean, we've got that. Actually, we've got the minutes of a meeting from April 22nd it's where he said that. It's actually also in a press release released to right. the media. So, so is this no, the fact is substance though, or is this about style? It's both. It, it's about leadership. And the fact is, it did take them, what, eight days to even declare this a, a matter of national significance. Uh, you know, leadership and style, uh, Ronald Reagan had it, uh, Franklin Roosevelt had it, John Kennedy had it, Bill Clinton had it in Oklahoma City. And you have to show, uh, it, you have to connect with the American people. If you lose the American people on an issue like this, you're going to hurt your administration, you know, for the next okay. two years. So, so, Peter, let me ask you, technically, can you name one thing that you would have done if you were running the White House operation, technically, that Barack Obama did not do? I, I would pay more attention to Governor Jindal. I think uh, Governor Jindal is showing leadership. Uh, the fact that he wanted those berms off the coast, I think that is something that should have been done. They should have made more attention to him. But, 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 of, but if you put the berms yeah. off the coast, that, that pushes the oil over to Mississippi. That may be great for Louisiana. I don't think Haley would have liked that a whole hell of a lot. Well, the thing is, the president should have engaged with Governor Jindal. He, he didn't engage with the Louisiana delegation, didn't engage with uh, Governor Jindal, and he stayed away. And again, you know, what more could President Bush have done with Katrina? The fact fact is, people like you are very well, critical. Could have actually, I, I, well, I, because no, the really, fact what could is... Have you done? What could he have done? I, I, let, me, let me tell you, I'll gladly tell you, I went down to Katrina right. the day after, and I can tell you, unlike Florida the year before where we had four hurricanes, FEMA right. wasn't there on the ground. The National Guard Joe, wasn't FEMA there on the is, ground. Hey, Joe, hey, hold on a Joe, second. Joe, let me Joe, finish. Joe, National Guard let, is let, Louisiana. You ask, you ask, yeah, okay. you ask right. me a question, let me right. answer, then I'll let you talk. This is one of the most obscene comparisons between Katrina and BP. I was on the ground from day one. I can tell you the federal government was not there. The state government was not there. Right. The local government was not there. I saw children walking around in dirty diapers that they'd been wearing for three days, four days. I saw Joe. kids wandering the streets of Biloxi Joe. and across Louisiana without any water three days into it. Joe, that what is not George FEMA's Bush job. have done? A hell of a lot. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. That is not FEMA's job. That is the job of the mayor and the governor for the first first two or three days. Okay. That, I don't be like saying Katrina. I told you what well, they could do. I'll tell and you the you're wrong. And you're wrong. The, no, I'm not wrong. Peter, you're Peter, wrong. I'm in Pensacola. Of Florida, we have Ivan the year before, Joe, and they're the, flying supply planes in from Washington D.C. the next day. So the on, fact Peter. is, FEMA's I, I don't Joe, tell you what's Joe, happening in Long Island Sound. Don't tell me what's happening in the Gulf I'm, Coast. I'm, I'm, tell, I'm telling you that everything that was done could have been done. Until, uh, the federal government is not coming until the third or fourth day. That was a failure uh, of leadership by Mayor Negan, right. by Governor Blanco, and Haley Barber did a great job in Mississippi. Bob okay. Riley did a great job in Alabama. Okay, well, let's go back to BP right. uh, for a second here. We will agree to disagree, right. and I will tell you about Long Island Sound issues uh, right. in the coming <laughs> <laughs> weeks and months. Uh, let, let's talk. Let's talk though sure. about it, though. When you when you have the president of the United, well, actually, you know what? Let's turn here. We've had our little fight, Joan. Let's talk about. It. And, and Peter King, that's what Pat Buchanan said earlier, not comparing this to the Watergate scandal, but he said they couldn't mm -hmm. get anything done, uh, whether it was on the economy or foreign policy, China, Vietnam, because every day it was all about Watergate. Let me ask you, is this BP spill uh, really overtaking Washington, D.C.? You look at the numbers that say Washington, not Barack Obama, but that Washington is handling this worse than they handled Katrina. 
Yeah, I think so. And again, I have not taken shots to the president other than the fact that I feel he should be more engaged from his doctors. It is important for the country to know that the president is engaged. Whether he is or not, they have to know that he is. No, this is. This is becoming, it's really a slowly creeping issue. And I see the White House being bogged down in it. And I'm not going to take a cheap shot at them. I think they probably yeah. are doing all they can do. But no, this is grabbing hold of them. And I think they're and, very and, frustrated. And Peter, yeah. when you're out, when you're out in, you're the third district, right? Third district yeah. of New York. When you're right. out there, it's so fascinating. Six months ago, wherever I went, three months ago, everybody just talked about jobs, jobs, jobs. We get a health care, jobs. Now, everywhere I go, they want to know about this leak. Is that what you're hearing, what other members of the Hill are hearing when they go home, wherever they are? When are you guys going to fix the leak? Yeah, it's becoming a metaphor for Washington not getting the job done. It's almost like a Jimmy Carter wow. type syndrome. Mm -hmm. It's like if you guys can't even take care of this, what can you do? And that uh, now, it's, right mm -hmm. now, it's being directed at that the president. Ultimately, it may affect all of us. No, yeah, yeah. Mickey, right. It may not be fair. I'm just saying that's the yeah. reality. It's out there on the ground. Yeah. You know, uh, Peter, you're, I, I think Peter's exactly right. I, it, it's gonna. This is gonna have an impact on all of Washington. Mm -hmm. So, hey, hey, Peter King, thank you so thank much. You. It's, always, it's always great. Always great talking to you. We love okay. you. Peter, so Long Island guy. You, where, where, did yeah. you used to live at? You lived on Long Island I did. for a while. Oceanside, yeah. Oceanside. Oh, All right. Nice. You know, I, I love those. I love those Long Island congressmen. We have Anthony Weiner on. We have Peter King. They're all fighters. They're great. On both sides of the aisle, <laughs> but they are so yeah. alive and will come on and boom. Fight. Yeah. Aldemato lived one town away. Aldemato. Mm -hmm. But let's.